Am I the only one? Real question. Am I the only one who likes to just sit and smell tea, you know? What's funny is this is kind of true for me in coffee as well. I love the smell of coffee, which I know is funny for anybody who knows me. Those of you who don't know me, I can't stand the taste of coffee. It's it's very much not my thing. But I love the smell of it. So, you know, if I'm sitting with a friend and they're drinking coffee, I can just be like, you know, not literally shove my nose into their cup, but you get the idea. This is entirely too hot because I'm running a little bit blurred today because I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So that's great. We might actually be cutting off a little bit early today so I can try to take something of a nap during the lunch break. But anyways, you don't care about any of that. What you care about is Warhammer. I found something funny to, to think about this morning. So we're playing Total Warhammer 3, obviously. That's the game. And we just finished Dawn of War 1, Dawn of War 2. This is going to be a long one, by the way. We're going to be at this for probably about two weeks, uh, which is about right, because Dawn of War 1 was about a week, and Dawn of War 2 was a little under a week, just about. So it's about two weeks to both of those games. Uh, Total Warhammer 3 will probably be two weeks by itself. This full month devoted to Warhammer. Oh my god. Um, but the thing I wanted to mention is that I've always been a little bit more curious about Warhammer Fantasy than 40k. Well, I shouldn't say I've always been. I've been that way for a while. And the reason why is because, and I mentioned this before, my introduction to Warhammer 40k was Dark Crusade. That's what actually got me into the franchise and maybe even aware that it existed at all uh, in any real substantial manner. And I was like, okay, cool. But then uh, I decided to, well, I'm trying to think how to describe this. So I don't know Warhammer 40k lore all that well. Which I know, oh my god, the lore runner doesn't know lore. Nothing new. But that's deliberate in this case. I actually started doing a deep dive into Warhammer 40k lore a while ago. And then I stopped. And I decided I didn't want to. And I have stuck by that ever since. I don't actually want to get into the deep lore of 40k. I'm okay with surface level lore. I can enjoy it at the surface level. And just stay up here at the surface level and be happy with that. And the reason I mentioned that... It's because I bet a lot of you have something similar with some franchise or some setting out there where there's just, you know what, I don't feel like really digging into it. I'm just going to enjoy this. Maybe it's Forgotten Realms. Maybe it's Star Wars. Maybe it's Star Trek. Uh, maybe it's um, One Piece. <laughs> you know, it's, am I right? Or is there at least a couple of you? Don't worry, this isn't the question of the video because I know nobody's going to answer this question because people only answer silly questions. But before I get to the silly question, I just wanted to mention this because it's interesting to me how much more interesting fantasy seems, Warhammer Fantasy, not Age of Sigmar, I have zero interest in that, but Warhammer Fantasy traditional, because I have so little exposure to it. Maybe that's why it's so interesting to me, because I know so little. Because my exposure to it can be counted on one hand. Vermintide 1, Vermintide 2, and Total Warhammer 2. And uh, that's it. Never played any tabletop or any books or anything, just this is it right here. So this will be four. We're still in one hand. Still in one hand. So this will be interesting, and I'm curious to see how it lines up. But I promised you a silly question so that people can actually write something in the comments. How many of you have something where it's like you really like a particular product that someone puts out, and it's a temporary thing, or it's like a test thing, and then they discontinue it, and they never bring it back? I can think of a dozen of those right off the top of my head, but let me list two really quick, okay? So Butterfingers. I don't like Butterfingers. Hurt my teeth. But for a little bit there, Butterfingers put out what were effectively Reese's Cups. It's just instead of peanut butter in the middle, it was like the Butterfinger stuff. And those were really, really good. And those are gone. That's cool. Hang on. I got something slightly less unhealthy of an example. Burger King, for a while there, some of you may remember this a few years ago, uh, released their Whoppers in a wrap. So you could get a Whopper wrap, and that was really good. And uh, that also was discontinued. It hasn't been back. I understand that, that corporations like to fling stuff at the wall and they, they pay attention to, well, they, they theoretically, I should say, pay attention to financial models to see what's selling. But it's always funny to me how many things, because this isn't exclusive to me, I know, some of my friends and family have the same problem. How many things there are, it's like, ah, oh, it's gone. You can get a regular Whopper, yeah, I mean, I guess. And I haven't been back to Burger King since. 